No spray tested to kick gambling habit. Finnish researchers on Monday said they were to launch a study to see if gambling addiction could be treated with a fast-working nasal spray. The spray contains noxalin, an emergency treatment for opiate overdose, heroin, opium, morphine, that blocks the production of dopamine, a neurotransmitter linked to the pleasure with a central role in addictions. The spray goes to the brain in a few minutes, so it's very useful to the gambler. If you crave gambling, just take the spray. No thanks, asshole. I think I'll just keep gambling. I'm sick of people calling it a gambling problem. Oh, he's got a gambling problem. Wrong. He's just a shitty gambler. There's no such thing as a gambling problem. If you're shitty at basketball, you're shitty at fucking basketball. They don't go, oh, he's got a basketball problem. No, you just suck at basketball. Doyle Brunson gambles 10, 12 hours a day, six days a week. He's got multiple gold World Series bracelets. He's a multi-millionaire. He makes more money than me and you combined. And all he does is gamble. Does he have a gambling problem? No. Why? He's a good gambler. You could be the greatest poker player in the world. If you have shitty bankroll management, you're going to go broke. You could be an okay poker player. But if you have good bankroll management skills, you're golden, man. You don't got to work. All you got to do is gamble. I've probably got more money in my poker account right now than I do my comedy account. Why the hell would I want a nasal spray up my nose? And second of all, these guys with real gambling problems who like have to gamble all the time, they, they need just like a scuba mask of nasal spray. Because all they want to do is gamble. So the whole thing's ridiculous. A nasal spray for fucking gambling. It's stupid. That's stupid. Do you have a gambling problem? No. You're probably just a shitty gambler.